hey guys so when i was trying to solder this cm4 connectors as parallel as possible but i'm having trouble to align them correctly so what happens is one of the connector gets slightly tilted like this then when i'm trying to connect the cm4 raspberry pi cm4 then it connects to one of the connector but not the others so I was thinking what to do and how to make them parallel. So I came up with this fixture, this one. So it's a PCB uh, that sits on top of the actual PCB that I need to solder like this. So I also made this hole so it will be aligned correctly. So I matched this hole here as well as this one. Then I put the connectors. Like this, then I put the whole PCB, both of them in the heater, then it melts the solar. So now I will show you how to make this fixture PCB in KiCad as well as show you uh, my procedure of soldering and using this fixture. Today's sponsor is PCBWay. They have PCB printing services starting from $5. You can order 10 PCBs in 9 different colors here. They also have 3D printing service which is very reasonable. Go to the third section of the website and click 3D printing service and add your own STL file. Choose materials and other features and get a price. Check out their 3D printing service and PCB printing service from the video description below. So first we will create an empty PCB project in KiCad. So you open the PCB file. Now enable this so you only see the layer that you are working on. Then go to the edge cut layer and create a simple box. So that will be enclosed box. That will be our PCB size for now. Then you save it. Then you close the PCB. Then we will open the FreeCAD app. Right, you can see here. Then we will try to open our PCB that we want to create fixture for. So you go to the import, then you select the PCB file. Remember to select the PCB file that is for my, that is for my project is display key get PCB. And make sure you have all the 3D parts. If you have problem the loading the 3D parts, you can go to preference and correctly select the folder that your 3D files are for your PCB. Then we will import the PCB fixture that is that is this one. So you will see it's in different location. You have to fix the location, the origin of the location. So we will go to the PCB. So here you see there is no origin. So it's set here or top. So what we will do is create a origin using this here. And as well as if you hold it, then it will show this one and you will place the same way. So you see there is a red mark and also the cross mark. So you save the PCB again, you close it, then you re-import the PCB. So I delete the PCB. Then you import it again. Now you see the fixture PCB is exactly in the middle of the PCB that we want to create the fixture for. Now we will go to board geometry. 
then you expand this then this is the sketch of the pcb of this fixture pcb now we double click it now we have this now we rotate but before that we want to hide this green so you just click this then it will hide it now we want to create a fixture for this part then we will move the pcb little bit down we select the pcb then we create transform then we move it now when we draw the lines it will show up on the top so we will go to the sketch again now we will create the fixture and make sure the all the lines are enclosed there's no open gap like this now we'll close the pcb outline then you select the pcb sketch then we will push the new sketch that we made using this cutout into the actual pcb now you select the pcb sketch then you select this push to pcb then it will show up don't it doesn't matter how much the line width is then you select ok now you have to locate the pcb file so this is the pcb file you select it then you say replace so this will only replace the layer of edge cut that we have here now you open this now you will see your fixture is showing up here that's it now you will as usual export the pcb using the fabrication option garble then then you generate the file as usual So after I align these two hole here, then I will put down some tape so it won't move. So then I taped the fixture here, uh, just uh, aligning the, just aligning the holes correctly here. These two holes that I designed previously, and now I will place my hero C connector on these two placement as you can see uh, I just placed it like this the pins are aligned mostly now I will melt the solder with this uh, heat bed I set it to 230 let's see how it goes So another point of this picture is uh, if you want to if you want to put more uh, flux so when you put flux the problem becomes if the fixture is not here uh, the flux tries to move the component because of it makes a layer underneath between the component and the PCB so now because this uh, fixture is holding this to component then I can apply the flux and it won't move the component and i am not uh, following any profile for the soldering paste i'm just heating it up so this feature is mainly to align this uh, to a hero c connector uh, parallelly so the it won't be in different angle it should be parallel yeah so i think uh, that's the main point not about caring if the solder uh, or the pins are joined because of the solder now i will move it i'll turn my heater off 
before you try to pull this fixture out uh, let the PCB cool down and hold the fixture from two point then lift it up equally uh, if you try to lift it up from a corner or from the side then it might also put pressure and it might lock this um, it might lock this component to the fixture so try to lift it up from uh, two side equally and uh, here is a close-up video of the solder joint at least uh, you can see it's aligned both of both side and here also and i have to touch up this solder joint because of the solder blobs i'll just heat up my soldering iron and run through those pins as you can see the main point of this fixture was to make this two connector parallel but uh, even though we uh, the soldering of this connector is not pretty but uh, the, that's expected but the the goal is achieved these two are parallel now So these two connector are parallel now. Yeah. So this uh, feature, another thing. Uh, so uh, those solder, those flux went in between this fixture and the PCB. So when you're trying to pull it up, uh, use lots of uh, uh, isopropyl alcohol. Then you try to lift it up. Uh, else uh, this will again try to rip off this connector uh, you can solder this kind of connector with this fixture also you can use this same uh, method to solder this uh, ICs it's the same way it's just uh, just first align this thing here yeah, accordingly the this two hole I designed then you uh, put the soldering paste, then you put the IC, then heat it up and, oh, and it should solder fine just like the connector. And also you can use one fixture for different ICs. Right here you can see uh, I have these two IC with the same fixture and also I showed you the two connector. And also this one is the another uh, I see that goes in the display PCB of my project so I can use this fixture also to solder that I see because it also have this two mounting point that also aligns sorry uh, this this one and this one aligns with the display PCB of the other one so with the same fixture I am soldering uh, three PCB side as you can see this fixture works for soldering a small amount of components in your PCB that is not possible without a PNP pick and place machine and that way you can test uh, your development board that board your that way you can test your board easily instead of uh, waiting time but uh, this is not feasible for mass manufacturing this is just for uh, development of your PCB so design these kinds of fixture uh, it will cost five dollars uh, for five of them or ten of them from pcb way and you can use this a uh, fixture for your different project that's it see you guys later